y'all, what is it to go? One night out today, everybody, this is Jordan Jones on my playthrough of Super Mario Sunshine for the Nintendo GameCube. If you guys can give me a favor and drop a like on this video, I'd really, really appreciate that. And let me know down in the comments below for question of the video. Um, since the next world we're we'll going to is based off an amusement park, what is your favorite amusement park to go to and why? I would love to know. My favorite amusement park I've been to probably Dollywood. Because I love Dollywood so much. Alright, now we're going to go on to Pinna Park, which is one of my favorite areas in this game, I have to say. It reminds me so much of amusement parks and stuff. Excuse me. Because Dollywood has to be... The reason why Dollywood's my favorite amusement park is because what I really love about Dollywood is... um, I love the rides of Dollywood. I especially love the Scrambler. And I love the Blazing Fury as well. Those are the rides I would love, I'd love the most at Dollywood. Do you see that this area is based? This area is an amusement park area. And that, I love that carousel ride at Dollywood. All right. So this really reminds me of, let me tell you what this box reminds me of, it reminds me of the Mystery Mine at Dollywood. I have never rode the Mystery Mine, but I've seen videos of it on YouTube. And that's what this reminds me of. So this box is very easy, basically what you have to do is you have to just I want to say it's an easy boss, but I don't want to say that and it turned out to be a difficult boss. Because you have to shoot these rockets using the R button at Mega Bowser. That's what you have to do with this boss while you're riding on this roller coaster. Can you please make it easier for me? <clears throat> I missed him. Gosh. Now he's really gonna get me a little bit of trouble. Sometimes you will end up getting hit and there's nothing you can do about it. I mean, it's, he's really not that hard at all. You just have to just take your time, be patient.
upside down. I, this kind of reminds me somewhat of Wally. It reminds me of both the Mystery Mine and Wally. I never rode those two guys, but, uh, but still. Oh my gosh! Are we really about to die? Are we really about to die? We did it! Yes! <laughs> Hot air balloon. Corona Mountain is the final area in this game. That's All right, we did it. Let's dive into the shine sprite. I'd love to know for a question of the video, what is your favorite amusement park and why? Mine will probably have to be Dollywood. I love to ride at Dollywood. Excuse me. The Beach Cannon Seeker, you can easily get 100 coin shine here if you do this properly. Like, you can do this in order to be able to do that. I kind of want to do that, Sean. It is kind of tedious. Don't follow me, Bullet Bill. Oh my gosh. See, 
we already have 23 coins, and we can just keep doing this get a lot of coins. Quit following me, Bull Bills! I'm trying to get the 100 coin shine. This is easily the easiest 100, 100 coin shine that there is in the game. Like, it's pretty easy, you just have to do this. I guess I'll cut until I get to the shine. All right, guys, I'm back, and we did it. And that is the 100 coin shine. <clears throat> this is the only 100 coin shine I'm gonna be doing in the playthrough. <clears throat> so we're gonna get ready to dive into the shine spot like this. Now we're gonna continue with the mandatory stuff and pay on the pen apart. <clears throat> All right, so we're done with that. <clears throat> All right, so we're on a roll. So we're going back to pen apart. We're gonna get loose from the cannon to pen apart. And we're going to do episode two of it, which is the Beach Cannon Secret. Excuse me. This is another secret level. get an aim at these bombs. It's really difficult to aim at these bombs. Like, you have to be really precise when you aim them. Alright! I'm pretty decent at aiming these bombs. I'm not bad at it, but... <clears throat> now I opened a whole new world! And of course... Shadow Mario steals flood from us. We have to go through another secret area. This secret area is not that difficult by any means. It's just, it's kind of tedious if you don't know what you're doing. You just have to watch for those disappearing platforms. That's all it is. It's really not that hard at all. It's one of the easier ones I'd say in the game. So these right here, you just have to jump off these platforms. And these platforms are so bouncy, it's kind of hard to control sometimes. Ah! Ah! Quit! I'm not going to commentate too much because this does require some concentration because it, because it can get out of control here. Ugh! Stay under control, game. I love this acapella music. <sighs> Alright. If you keep doing this, you can speed run to this part. Keep in mind. It's not that hard, you just have to do that. We're gonna 
dive into the shots, Brad, right now, y'all. See, that was really easy. Excuse me, probably one of the easier secret levels in the game. Excuse me, there's no key bay right there. We'll go there. It'll be later when we go there. But for right now, uh, we're just gonna focus on Tana Park. So, we're gonna do episode three. Red coins of the pirate ships. This one right here is kind of a tedious one, but at the same time, it's not really that difficult. It's just tedious. I love this music of the Pena Beach area. The music is so relaxing and peaceful. Like, I can sleep and listen to that music. All right, we're back in the amusement park again. <laughs> Quit sliding off, Mario. That's what I hate about this area right here, that Mario just wants to slide off. It's very easy to slide off by accident because you can easily slide off. But no matter how good you are in the game, you can easily slide off right there. Not because the level is difficult. I'm not saying the level is particularly difficult. It's just because Mario is really slippery in this game. And you can glitch through those as well. That's pretty good. We might have to go in the first person view to look for other red... I don't think there's any other red coins over there. On that pirate ship over there, I doubt there is, but I'm not sure. Oh, there's not. There's not. So we don't have to worry about it now. Thank, thank God that we don't have to worry about that now. Because what we're gonna do now is um, we're gonna go this way. The rest of it is just easy peasy once you get that far done. The rest of it ain't even that hard. The rest of it is um, easy peasy. The rest of it is a lot easier once you get out of that. Eh. That's a third blue coin, but I'm not doing the blue coin stuff. I'll just click. Some local blue coins, some easy ones. I only do the ones that are easy to collect. No! Quit, Mario! Or else I'll punch you in the face, Mario, if you do that again. I hate the physics of this game that Mario is really slippery. It really makes everything a lot harder, like I said. Because it makes it to where I cannot be as precise with my jumps. And some of these jumps do require precise timing. That means that too. <sighs> I do have a couple bad memories of Hannah Park. Not because of the area being particularly difficult or anything. Oh, there's a blue coin here. There we go. That's a fourth blue coin. Uh, I want to show you this right here. This might be pretty cool when you see this. Look out for this. Let's, I wonder what happens if you collect all these coins. I thought it would give us a shine sprite or something. Okay. I'm okay with that, no, but still. This is just... I am... 
I still don't know everything about this, this game, but I just wanted to try something new right there to see what that is right there. I don't know everything about the game, of course. I can't memorize as much in this game as I can in Galaxy. Cause in oh my gosh! Do your backflip, Mario. I hate that these controls are imprecise in this game. All right, do this. Mario, you're too slippery. You better, huh. you better balance, balance. This is an area where it does get kind of slippery. But I really like the music here. I really like how this reminds me somewhat of Dollywood. I do like that. It reminds me a little bit of Dollywood Splash Country too. Quit! Backflip! Come on! Those back these backflips in this game, the controls in this game are nowhere near as precise as I wanted the controls to be, but. But they're, they're still decent. The controls are decent in this game, but... The controls are very stiff in this game. <laughs> I'm glad Galaxy perfected this game, because... I'm so glad that Super Mario Galaxy perfected this game. Because Galaxy, for the Wii... Of course, Galaxy was on the Nintendo Wii, so I can understand why it perfected this game, because it was on the Wii, and it... So I can understand why I perfected this game. So what we're gonna do now is um We're gonna collect these. We're gonna get kill these guys. Come here and die. But we are gonna do the episode four. Just cause episode four is a lot easier than this. I like episode four better than I do episode episode. Then I do episode three of this world just because it's easier. Dive into the shine sprite! Come on! I want to dive into the shine sprite. That's going to be my victory every single time I collect the shines. And sadly, I have input lags, though it does make it a little bit harder. Yes, if I was playing this on the GameCube, on the actual GameCube, yes, this level would have actually been pretty easy. Then this level would have been pretty easy if I did that. Mm -hmm. Sadly, I'm playing on the Super Mario 30 All Stars and it causes input lag, like I said. <laughs> I also do not care whether or not I dive into the Shine Sprite or not. I, I wanted to dive into it, but I knew it was risky. <laughs> so I might as well get the normal way, because it's risky to dive into it. And I have input lag too, <laughs> so that does make it a lot harder. And input lag's pretty bad in this game. I mean, if you play this game on the GameCube, you're not gonna have any lag at all. That means you're gonna be perfect inputs, no lag at all. But if you play on Super Mario 30 All Stars, that's what causes the input lag. Excuse me. The Wilted Sunflowers. This one's really easy. Like I said, this one is a cakewalk. If you talk to this guy, I want to show you what happens. Oh, he doesn't want to give it to us yet. He can't, if you, if you talk to those Piantas, they will give you sunglasses, so you can use sunglasses in this area, so it won't be bright. I'm okay with the environment being bright. So you want to spray these eggs, and then when these guys come here, they'll land on the, you want them to land on the sand. You don't want them to land on the grass. And then you do that. <clears throat> Easy. Rinse and repeat. That's all you have to do. This game's really awesome. Like, I've really enjoyed this playthrough so far. This playthrough's been so awesome. Although I struggled more with, with the Bianco Hills than I did with the, with the future world so far. I guess because Bianco Hills, I guess because... 
If I only got one sinker left, I'd be on Kelly Hills. Okay. These, these are turtles. They look like snapping turtles. And I'm pretty scared of snapping turtles. Because I do not like snapping turtles at all. It does not matter which order you do these eggs in. They remind me. I love eating scrambled eggs. I love eating scrambled eggs with breakfast food. That's one of my favorite breakfast foods, scrambled eggs. And I'll share my scrambled eggs with my dog sometimes. My dog loves scrambled eggs. He does. My dog really likes them. <laughs> Come on, come over here. Take that ground pound! We're definitely going to dive into this shine sprite because it's a lot rich, a lot safer to dive into it. That's our 29th shine sprite of the game. Alright, might as well chase Shadow Mario now. Let's go ahead and chase him. We're doing these worlds in chronological order. So after we do Pinna Park, we'll do Serena Beach. Then after Serena Beach, we'll do Noki Bay. Which Noki Bay is my personal favorite. My favorite world is Noki Bay. Then after we do that, we'll do Piana Village last. But there, if you can't do a frame perfect triple jump, there's a way you can get Piana Village before any other area in this game. But I will rather just do it in chronological order like I always do. Side flip, Mario. Those side flips. Input lag makes it harder for me to do those side flips because I do have a, a frame or two of input. I do have a little bit of input lag, so it does make it a lot harder to time these side flips right. And he's hard to catch. It's random every time how fast he'll go when you can't learn a pattern. Where's he at? He's way too fast. I wish he would go at the same speed I would. I wish I would learn a pattern. I thought first it'd be like a pattern about which way he went. I guess it just sort of random. <laughs> and then we have to give Yoshi bananas because he's wanting some bananas. I love bananas so much. Me, I love bananas. And they're really healthy for you too. gonna do now is we're gonna activate Yoshi. Save and continue. Eat that and then we'll see. Alright guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching guys. If you did enjoy, don't forget to drop a like on this video and have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.